You're always taking a risk putting something in the Bay of Fundy. You have to make peace with the fact that you may never see your gear again. At EMO, we build fiber optic connectors that attach to millions of dollars worth of sensors that monitor the tide in the Bay of Fundy. 160 billion tons of seawater flow past our assembled platforms twice a day. Tech in water is all backwards. It goes against everything that feels right from, from an educational point of view. We use a lot of steel. Steel on our housings, steel around the wires. They keep the ocean on the outside and the electronics on the inside. If force succeeds with generating tidal power, it would be a massive feat for Nova Scotia. I was going to trade shows around the world and I really seemed to keep having the same conversation. If only someone would make these multiplexer systems smaller and that really resonated with me. I really found like this was a real problem that could be solved. I received $20,000 and I put it all into building the first prototype system in my shed. That was a little bit intimidating. I didn't know if it was going to sell or how my competitors were going to look at it. It was a risk. A tidal turbine requires constant monitoring. A cable could break, anchor lines could go. Everyone is waiting to see that we can get it right here in the harshest tide in the world. If the project succeeds, it will dramatically reduce our need for fossil fuels, which is why everyone's trying to deploy turbines there. The world is watching to see how Nova Scotia does. It's a lot of pressure, but I work well under pressure.